There's a goal on Cleveland's east side to cultivate the spirit of entrepreneurship. We've learned about a class that helps business owners grow their business. News 5 anchor DeLon Dillard tells us what it's for and how it works. Dorian Porter is always on the go. When I bought this bus, it was 14 seats all the way to the back. This was a Salvation Army bus. He owns a mobile barber shop, Dumpy Cuts. He's been shopping on the go for about two years now, but it took some work to get here. This is something you just got to be consistent on. You got to really stand on it if it's something you really want to do. I gave up three times when I built this bus, man. I kind of, you, you're going to hit a lot of brick walls. To break down those walls, he joined the Famico's Entrepreneurship Workshop. It's a four-part series aimed to help small businesses in Huff, Glenville, and Superior neighborhoods take off. Larice Purnell teaches the workshop. And as a small business owner, every day I feel like there's a lesson in it. And, and I'll tell you, even as I teach, I get to learn from the students what they're going through. The workshop turned Purnell from a teacher to a mentor to Porter. It is not just about them providing tools, but it's all about the possible mentorship. And, and then sometimes it's always good to hear um, you know, stories that, that maybe some, some challenges they've been through, some wins and losses, so you can learn from people who've had the experience. Part of that got to do with your taxes, filing your business stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I wasn't up to date on that, so when I got into that entrepreneurship class, I wanted to learn as much as that I could from the Reese. We were there as many of the business owners graduated from the program this week, walking away with a litany of skills. Skills they can pass down to other entrepreneurs so they don't have to face the same brick walls that Porter did. One thing I've been learning lately since I started this bus, man, I've been a real good inspiration to a lot of other businesses that's trying to come out and get their things started. Delon Dillard, News 5.